Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so on last one I said that the title for this vlog would be home and that the reason for it is for those of you who watched the vlog that I made at the end of 2018 you'll know or be aware that this year is the year where I am hopefully fingers crossed going to become a homeowner. Um, so I'm very 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 much at the very beginning of that journey now um, by which I mean I have a deposit saved which I'm going to keep adding to until the point in time that I become a homeowner um, I've just started looking for properties that I can afford um, and I will at some point over the next couple of days talk to a, I think they're called a broker, um, in order to find out what kind of mortgage in principle I can realistically look to actually have. So when we're talking about being right at the very beginning of the journey, it is like Square, squarely at the very, very beginning of this journey. Um, so there may well be a couple more vlogs during the year, um, charting my progress. You know, many of you guys know how it's going on, um, various things like that. Because obviously the position that I'm in is I am a low income earner. So the kind of mortgage I can expect to get isn't going to be overly huge. And I'm also a single person looking for a mortgage which again you know minimizes how much I can borrow and, and stuff like that so it is one of those very I think interesting kind of journeys and for me the idea of sort of charting how you know my progress through it and my experience with it is probably I wouldn't say necessarily important but it might be really informative for somebody else out there in a similar position wanting to do a similar kind of thing because you know especially in the world that we're currently living in um especially being part of the generation that i am of the idea of ever becoming a homeowner is this cool kind of big daunting you know prospect of it's probably never going to happen you're probably always going to be renting and being a renter is it's not problematic but it does it does make things difficult um because you you're I'm not necessarily at the mercy I mean I, I all the landlords that I've had um that I've known <laughs> have been okay um but I have been in a situation before where the rent went up every six months um and because we were also dealing with um with a letting agent we had to renew the contract every six months. So that was fee on top of fee and then increase on top of increase. And, you know, it, it can get that, that kind of situation can happen a lot when you're renting where yes, you know, things may start out nice and affordable, but you have no control over the cost of, of your rent and how often it goes up and by how much it goes up by and, and stuff like that. And, and all of these sort of external forces. And then on top of that, you are just renting the space so you you know have to ask permission to put a picture up <laughs> you can't paint the walls um and various things like that so there's only like so much you can kind of do to make the space really feel like your own and there's nothing wrong with being a renter um i've done it for almost as long as i've been working for the company that i work for so closer to nine years um and you know I've lived in some really nice places and I've lived in some not quite so nice places I mean where I am now is a nice flat and I'm more than happy to remain here for however long it takes me to be a homeowner even if it takes me a couple more years for you know whatever reasons whether it's certain natural reasons whether it's you know the right place just doesn't come up in that time frame it has to be the right place when you're buying it really has to be the right place and of all the places that I've rented, this flat has, is like the closest to the perfect flat <laughs> in terms of like how it feels. I mean, there are definitely issues um, and, and there aren't things I can do anything about because I'm just a tenant and the 
property doesn't belong to me. Um, I mean, I'm sure you guys have sort of noticed that I'm a kind of a cluttery person uh, from the various you know, bits and pieces that, that are around me. And when I used to be on my old position, you could probably see a lot more from, from the bookcase that I, I like having stuff out and about. And part of that is I'm a clutter, I'm a clutter person. I've always been a clutter person. Um, and part of that is because when you can't put your stamp on the property itself, you collect stuff to put your personality into a place. And... Yeah, so there's nothing wrong with, with renting and there's nothing wrong with renting lifestyle. I, you know, I don't have any problem with it. It's just, I'm at a point now where I feel with rent, it's kind of you're just throwing money into the ether. You're, you're earning all this money and part of it is just lining the pocket of somebody else and you're not investing in anything. And it's a sizable chunk of my wages as well. That's just, you know, being thrown... Uh, into the ether as it were and again there's nothing wrong with renting and there's nothing wrong with doing that and it's, it's you know a lifestyle that you know I could continue with and, and not let it bother me so much but I like the idea of investing in my future and I like the idea of having something that's mine um essentially and that I can do what I want with and that I don't have to ask permission for a pet <laughs> I don't have to ask permission to decorate and I don't have to ask permission to do any little changes that I want to do and I don't have to worry about a landlord coming over and judging me for how I live. I mean my landlord, my, my current landlord is really nice um, and he likes me as a tenant um, and he's very responsive and he comes in and he sorts out all my problems like right away and it's, he's probably the best landlord that I've had. <laughs> for my landlords he's probably like the best that I've had um, by a long while. But, you know, at the same time, it, it is still his property. So if he wants to put in a new window, which is what he did over the summer, um, as some of you might remember from, from me vlogging over the summer and, and why certain things were sort of like delayed and stuff like that. But yeah, no, that, that window took a long time to echo in properly. <laughs> um, he did it himself and I'm grateful that there was a window there that actually had double glazing because the window that was there before did not have double glazing. I do apologise, my job was being very noisy today. <laughs> I'm sure they'll settle down eventually. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if he, if he wants to make a change to my property, then he, he can. And if I want to make a change to, to my property, then there's not really a whole lot I can do about it. And, you know, as I said, it's just it's just rented space. Um, and as homely as I have made it, it's still not, you know, necessarily my home. And it still feels very much that I'm kind of floating about rather than being fixed in the world and as somebody who likes to have roots um and somebody who likes to have roots who has over the last nine years moved more times than they would have wanted to um so because of circumstantial reasons and yeah I, it the idea of becoming a homeowner feels like making a permanent home for myself and that's what I want and I think you know I wasn't necessarily the one who wanted to move out in the first place when I moved out um at the time that I moved out and some of the moves that I've made since then have not been because I wanted to make those moves um but this this is all about me now this is about me finding somewhere that I can put my roots down and go, right, this is where I am living for the foreseeable future. Um, and I've got the freedom to do whatever I want to do with this place. And I will do whatever I want to do with this place. <laughs> I'm very much like that. <laughs> um, but at the same time, you know, I am on a limited budget, so I can't, you know, necessarily go for 100% perfect ideal Place, but it has to have the right feel to it, it has to have the right, you know, the right aura about it if you want, <laughs> kind of walking in and, you know, it has to feel like a home and it has to feel like my home. And yeah, as I said, as somebody who is on a limited budget, because I have a limited amount that I can work in, and again, this is one of the reasons why I am trying so hard to get my writing career kick started because if I can get a proper income coming in from that then that's more money I can put towards 
a mortgage and you know that that'd be great that'd be fantastic that's you know or if if it's at the point of time where I already have the mortgage that's more money in my pocket that I can just do whatever I want with and you know that's that's a good good feeling it's a good thought um but obviously I have to get to that point first <laughs> I have to find the place first and I have to uh very much fall in love with it and move in and get a mortgage and, and whatever else and be a proper adult <laughs> it's only taken however many years it is I've been alive <laughs> and even then I'm still probably not going to feel like a proper adult because you know what's an adult <laughs> but yeah I know this is not going to be easy I very much know this is not going to be easy because as I said I am a single person on a limited budget and yeah that's going to limit the kinds of places that I can look at and limit the kinds of choices that I can make but it's something that I really want and it's something that I've really wanted since I well something I've really wanted for a couple of years since since before splitting up with the ex um getting a home and being a homeowner was my next life goal and then obviously I split with the ex and there was a part of me that thought that that's it that I'm never I'm never going to achieve that um because it's going to be just so difficult to do on my own and then I was like but it's not going to be impossible I just have to change what it is that I want and, and what it is that I'm thinking of when I say being a homeowner um I don't need a house um a flat will do <laughs> you know I've, I've spent the last you know nine years living in, in in flats um and stuff like that so I know you don't have to have a house to have a home uh, that's not what makes up a home it's you know it's that sense of belonging it's that sense of being in something that you feel is yours and that you're happy there and you know, it doesn't even necessarily need to be a, a place, um, uh, you know, under the right circumstances. And certainly, certainly, um, my, my little, my little baby girls definitely make me feel like I have a home again. Um, and before then, uh, when my previous pet, before then, certainly when, when he died, um, I felt like I'd lost my home. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very aware that home is not about four walls, and I think that's kind of the point. Um, so my rented accommodation where I am now feels like a home, but it doesn't feel like it's a home that belongs to me. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for somewhere that feels both like home and that belongs to me. So that all the things that I want to be able to do with my home are things that I can do with my home. Um, that's exciting and hopefully hopefully achievable in the next 12 months but anything can happen so as much as I would absolutely love 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 to achieve my goal by the end of the year I know there's a realistic possibility that I won't because again I have to wait for the right property to come along and the right price range and this that and the other so yeah but every journey has to start somewhere and this is where my journey has begun and this is my thoughts and my feelings on where I am at this point in the journey and as I said there are probably going to be a couple more of these throughout the year as things progress and may happen really quickly it may take a long time but it will progress it will progress it will it will reach a conclusion at some point when I am a home homeowner hopefully that'll be by the end of this year but if not fine I'm still saving towards my deposit that just means more of a deposit that just means more properties that come into my price range so it's not a bad thing it taking a bit longer is not a bad thing but if it could happen in this season, <laughs> I'm not going to complain <laughs> one little bit um because lots of little stupid things and lots of little stupid reasons and lots of wants <laughs> I guess you know I 
I am determined. I am determined that all the things that should count against me don't matter. I am determined that all the things that should make it difficult for me to achieve my dream and become a homeowner don't matter because there are things you can do and if you are realistic about your expectations there are ways that you can achieve what you ultimately want to achieve and for me that's to become a homeowner and home isn't about the four walls it's you know it's about that sense of belonging that, that sense of ownership that sense of you know this is this is this is my place rather than this is the place that I rent and yeah so yeah <laughs> all right okay so this one has been all about the beginning of my journey towards home ownership and the next one according to my lovely calendar um has been entitled Passion reignited. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm sure you guys know that I quite often alter the titles that I give them on my calendar when it actually comes out, um, just because I'll think of something better, more to do with. But yeah, the the general title that I've given next week is Passion reignited, and this means we are going back to talking about my writing again after a couple of weeks of not talking about my writing. Um, so hopefully those of you who watch me for that side of things are happy about that and those of you who prefer this style, don't worry, we'll be going back to the other style at some point because um, I want to mix it up and mix and match it up a little bit this year and you know, doing sort of, I wouldn't say necessarily 50-50, I'm just going to do whatever topics I've decided to do and whether they end up being more about my writing, whether they end up being more about my personal life, that's just going to... I'm just going to let the coin man wherever it will with those. Um, but yeah, next week, Passion Reignited, definitely to do with, definitely to do with my writing. So, I hope you guys have found this one interesting. I hope you're excited to come on my little journey with me. And I will, as I said, do my best to keep you guys posted and updated throughout the year, whether it's like another another couple of vlogs that are like full of vlogs like this about it or whether it's just you know tweets and, and messages or mentions in other vlogs or whatever uh we shall see because you know obviously if things happen a lot faster than i think they're going to i'm not going to be like three in a row of becoming a homeowner or anything like that because you know you've got to pace stuff like that out a little bit but yeah yeah <laughs> okay so i hope you guys have enjoyed this one i hope you're looking forward to the next one and i will see you next time See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya.